Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another word from the Lord. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, open up our hearts, God. Help us to be receptive and not weary in well-doing. Help us to faint not so that we can reap this harvest, God. We love you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. It is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So Let's go ahead and get started. I got another word from the Lord in another language. This time it was in Spanish. And I, I could be saying this wrong. It's hecho, hecto, heco, or hecto. So I thought it was a number at first. Or, and then after um, I realized like it wasn't a number, um, I was thinking, well, maybe it means like wash because I'd seen it on the back of a bottle as well um, of of soapy stuff. So I thought it'd be wash or clean. But then when I picked it up, I, I had been seeing this this word um, over and over again. But then when I, I found a little tag on the floor and it said it on there and the Lord was like, look this word up. Like I've sent you this word multiple times now and I need you to look it up. So I went to look it up. Um, this morning and it said uh, to complete well the first word that I saw was done and then when I looked it up um, fully in the the translate google translate it says heco heco complete taken mature ready made ready to wear made up um, another word uh, adjective for it is terminado, which is finished, complete, overdone, closed up. So um, um, one of the nouns is for heco, heco, I know I'm saying that wrong, um, is it says fact, deed, factor, issue, point of fact. Now we know that these are all synonyms um, for HECO, but so I, I wanted to look up more of a definition for done. And so I went to the Strong's Concordance and wow, when I tell you this word done is like so extensive, it is such a, uh, so many definitions, so much um, in there about the word done. So it says Kaala, Kaala, uh, is the word and so it says to consume end finish fail accomplish done spend ended determined away fulfill fainted destroy left wow isn't that a lot right and so if you keep reading it keeps going on and on this is not the only set of um definitions of the use of the word in the bible and yeah so i definitely you know feel that god is letting us know that something is done so um all right you guys let's pray lord jesus thank you for this word lord only you know how you're going to use this word it is so much just like you you are so multifaceted just like this word and even more so lord this comes from you and we love you we give you all the glory honor and praise we ask you jesus to just bless this word and help it to keep it ready in our spirit in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen you guys may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace take care